Welcome back, everybody, to our 11 and 1 January specials. We're going to keep the festivities going with Double Dare on the Dog, which will count as game five of my original run, which I've won $23,431 so far. Let's see if we can win more. Double Dare on the Dog. Double Dare on the Dog. Clowns, okay. I like this game. One, two, three. That was easy. So we went ten dollars and control the questions. Alright. Let's begin. The same actor played the roles of Rocky, Cobra, and Rambo. Who is he? Sylvester Stallone. Which is correct. Here's an 1800s job ad. Wanted. Skinny fellows not over 18. Orphans preferred. Willing to risk death daily. What was the job? I know what it isn't. It's not Double Dare Stagehands. We're looking for Pony Express riders. So therefore, I win $20. Don't let me to $40. Let's go to the next question. What do you call a female gander? A goose. Correct. It is indeed a goose. Which Latin word meaning the sun stands still refers to two seasonal occurrences? Uh, solstice. Correct. Next. According to a recent survey, which vegetable is the least liked in America? Uh, Brussels sprouts? No, it's turnips. Turnips. Alright, so that's okay. There was no dare, so neither team gets the money. Which famous frontiersman wore a coonskin cap, served in Congress, and died at the Alamo? It is Davy Crockett. Yes. Pythons have been found to grow as big as what? It is not Andre the Giant 7 foot 6. It is two Andres plus one giraffe, a total of 33 feet. There is no dare, so neither team gets the cash. Which is your birthstone if you were born in the month of March? Uh, Bloodstone. Yes, that's correct. For which company does George Judson work for? Spacely Sprockets. Uh huh. Bedrock Rock Quarry, that is Fred Flintstone. In which war did Union soldiers fight against Confederate soldiers? Uh, the Civil War. Yes. $90. Next up. Oh, it's time for the Double Dare Halftime Toss Up Challenge, which we're going to be playing Gorilla. Let's go. So I win $20 and control the questions. Let's get to it. Question one. Which animal lives the longest? Uh, the Galapagos turtle. Correct. I just took a random guess on that one and I got it right. High five stands for which two words? High fidelity. Yes. $150. Next up, where would you be like? Where would you be likely to see a Portuguese man of war in the ocean? Uh huh. Because a Portuguese man of war is a type of jellyfish, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, what is the very first play in a football game called? Uh, kickoff. Correct. One hundred ninety dollars is where we stand right now. Spuds McKenzie is which breed of dog? I'm daring. Bull Terrier? Spuds McKenzie is a Bull Terrier. Yes. So the other team wins $40. And our next clue. Bulls and bears are terms used in which market? I'm going with the stock market. Which is right. So I went in $40. <laughs> next up. 
If you were a student of tetratology, what would you be studying? Uh, I'm gonna say monsters. That is right. We're moving along very nicely. In the game of checkers, how many pieces does each player start with? Twelve. Uh huh. Okay. Next up. When two million units of a single 45 RPM records are sold, which metallic named award does the artist receive? Uh, platinum. Yes. In which movie was the song I've Had the Time of My Life introduced? Dirty Dancing. Yep, a very memorable scene with uh, Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. So we're at $310, and that's it. Let's go to the obstacle course. And... Go! So just what is the grand prize? Well, we want a watch, records, video game, BMX bike, toys, camping gear, pool table, and a trip to Palm Springs totaling $4,990 plus the $310 in cash for $5,300. This game, that's what everybody's going to get if I'm doing the special floor. And that's now a five game winning total of $28,731 in cash and prizes. We'll see you all for that next segment right after this break. We'll be right back. 